Yeah. <laughs> a little str stress relief before the game. Yeah. So I, I know you only had 282 yards offense, but did you feel like, you know, just given who you're going up against, that was maybe one of the better performances you had just because of what you, how you did it, when you did it? Uh, there was, I mean, I, I felt, uh, I felt like we made some plays when we, when we needed to, and we were able to put together three, you know, really good drives against a, one of the best defenses in the conference. Um, so there were some definite positives, um, and then there were some other, there were some opportunities I felt like that we left out there, and some mistakes that we made, um, to where we I think we could have had a little bit more, a um, little bit more success, and you know, move the ball a little bit more, maybe left some things out there. But against a good defense, we knew it was going to be a tight, tight game like that. And the key for us was taking care of the football and being efficient in the red zone. I felt like we did those things. What was when, when you went into that la that drive, the, the, the game-winning drive? Was your what was your thought? Was your thought that you were going to try to run the ball and, and, and run clock and get the plays that you wanted to get, or, or was there? I think it was just going against that defense. We felt like we just had to keep them a little bit off balance, um, you know, with a, a mixture of the run game, uh, play pass, a little bit of movement, um, some some quick some quick passing game. Uh, just to keep those guys off balance, we felt like if we kind of got one dimensional against them, uh, that was in their favor. Um, and so that was that was the, the thought, just to try to keep them off balance, keep a good mixture of, of different type of play types, and and uh, we were able to put the drive together. The third and ten play where Artavis ran for twenty um, was that called, or was that something Jake, some Jake saw? Or uh, no, it was called. Um, you know, and our thought there was we were probably going to go for it on fourth down if we didn't if we didn't get it. Um, and so we were trying to. The thought was maybe. Not expecting a run there. Maybe you get, maybe you do get it like we did, um, or maybe you get half of it and set yourself up for an easier fourth down conversion. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice knowing that you had the ability to go for it there. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to call. If, 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 when Jamar comes back, and I don't know if it'll be next game or not, has, has Artavis earned the, the, the starting stop spot, or is it wide open again once he's able to come back? Uh, it too soon to too soon to say. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, I feel comfortable with either one of those backs in there, and it's something I think that we'll address when Jamar, yeah. when Jamar gets back into the flow. But. In a game that close, statistically, was there much adjustments that you had to make on what you were calling in the second half? Um, not necessarily adjustments there. Um, I, I think it was like I said. It was. It was. Uh, we just wanted to. Try to keep them honest with a mix of run, play action, you know, naked or movement type plays, drop back pass. We felt like if we just got one dimensional, they were really teeing off, you know, on us and made it tough. And so um, that was our thought at halftime: was just keep keep coming with the game plan, and and we've really got to you know focus on executing. And when we get down in the red zone, we got to make the most of it. And I thought our guys did a nice job uh, in those situations. You got some notoriety, you know, on TV and and around you know some writers and whatnot about your play calling and how great it was. Did you feel good about the game plan going in? Uh, yeah, I did. I think we, we've got a really talented offensive uh, staff, and I felt like we had some good thoughts. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a challenge going against a, a tough defense like that. And uh, no, I liked, I liked our plan. I think, you know, we still at the same time, we punted nine times. And so um, there's, some, there's some definite calls that I would have liked to have back. And I think there were some calls that we didn't execute as well as we could have, and, and I think we could have had some, you know, some more success and some more points. But, um, but overall, yeah, I liked our plan, and I, I felt like our guys, you know, did some good things against a tough team on the road. Have you ever been a part of a game that was so close statistically? I mean, there was a number of stats that were off by only one yard or one one point. Uh, I don't know, probably, but I don't. I can't. Not that I can. Not that I can remember. Yeah, it was kind of interesting looking, um, particularly at the total yards there yeah. between the two teams and. Um, yeah, we knew. I mean, we, we talked about it all week. And Cal, I think every, just about every game that they played all season was similar score, you know, right in that area. And, and we knew we were going to be in for a four-quarter battle. And uh, it was nice to see us be able to pull it out. This uh, turnover thing and the fumble thing has just kind of taken on a life of its own. Um, are you guys doing anything different? I mean, everybody talks about ball security and, and taking care of the ball. And I know you work on it in practice. Is there anything you guys have done differently or any reason why this team is so good at it seven games in? Uh, I just I feel like the players have bought into it and it's something that we stress and we drill and we're constantly talking about and and coach Smith from you know trickles down to the coaches and I think the guys have bought into it and and seeing that hey that can that can help us win some close games and it's the number one stat to dictate wins in all levels of football so uh, it's a you know 
but I, I don't know. I mean, I've, every year of coaching, we've always been emphasizing that. So I don't know if it's one thing or not. But I, I do think it's the players buying into it and, and uh, you know, consciously doing a nice job of taking I, care I of the game. I don't know if this has anything to do with it. At least a small thing. But Jake doesn't have any problem throwing the ball away. I mean, he throws it away. Any time it looks like the play's going bad. Yeah. More, more so than I've seen out of a lot of quarterbacks. Is that... I mean, have you noticed that too? Or? Uh, last game particularly, I wouldn't, you know, it's... Sometimes maybe too early. <laughs> yeah, there's sometimes where I want him to get to his second or third read and he's getting rid of it. He feels like it's broken down a little bit. So, uh, but at the same time, I think, you know, we talk about take take what the defense gives you and if it's not there, um, you know, you're either working to number two or three or you're, you're getting rid of it. And some of those were play action shots where we didn't necessarily have a check down or the check down did not, wasn't able to get out. He got caught up in the protection. Um, but I, I do like, you know, second and 10 better than second and 17, you know? And so I think there's, there's been some times where we'd like him to get through his read. And there's some times where he's doing a nice job of seeing that it's not there and getting rid of it. Yeah. Coach, um, I mean, you guys have three wins right now and, you know, obviously you take it one game at a time, but like, do you, any of your teammates or your, the players like talk about just like bowl eligibility and getting three more wins just to get a bowl game first time since 2013? Uh, I'm sure they do away from the building, you know, um, but, you know, as a team all together, like you said, I think it's the focus is, hey, you know, we're, we're, we've got Arizona coming up and that's the focus. Let's try to get, you know, focus on one game at a time. And, and uh, you know, if we focus on the process and take care of our business, hopefully that take care, take care of itself as the season goes on. Does Coach Smith have like a goal list where you guys just cross off? Cross off goals and games and wins. Uh, or? Not specifically. It's it's more the you know like you said the goal of the week and and that's just uh, for everybody in there to get a W and um, I'm sure he does privately some things that he's checking off but not not with the team. What would you say the goal is this week with a little extra rest? Uh, always on a bye week, get healthy, you know, and uh, maintain some. Uh, some rhythm and, and some timing, I think, but but to allow the guys that have been playing through the first seven games and taking a lot of reps to get some rest um, and heal up, and so we can get into Arizona, you know, healthy and and uh, and ready to roll. But and then for the coaches to be able to get on the road and do some recruiting. Do you, do you guys think you've evolved into a run first offense? Um, I, I don't I don't know that you know I don't know that I, I think it's. Uh, Sometimes you go into a game and it's we're going to throw it to set up the run, and sometimes you go into the game we're going to run it to set up the run. And I think a lot of it is um, kind of how the defense shows up and plays you. Um, but no, I think we we've tried to be able to do both well to where people can't load up one or the other. Um, and uh, and given Jake's skill set is not really a guy that we can do a lot of zone read and, and use him as legs in the running game. We've tried to lean a little bit to more towards the run game and then play pass or naked stuff off of that, more of kind of a pro style offense just to fit his skill set. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Coach. Yep.